We have a lot of rain headed our way. We even have a potential for some maybe mixed precipitation as well. Here's what we're tracking throughout the week. Warm and active tomorrow. We're tracking temperatures about 10 to 15 degrees warmer than normal, but that is going to spark the chance for a couple of thunderstorms or even strong to severe thunderstorms. We'll talk about that chance in just a bit. Rain chances will continue for the rest of the week as well. 90% chance of rain tomorrow, 30 on Wednesday, 90 again on Thursday, and even some chances into the weekend. And then cold later on this week with a chance maybe of some mixed precipitation could start to see our first few flakes of snow. Let's take a look here at the rain potential or total rainfall. I mean, I might say that we've seen it so far today. And most areas have been fairly light. A couple hundredths of an inch. We did pick up uh, close to a quarter of an inch over in Wisconsin Rapids, but we have much, much more headed our way. Take a look at the total precipitation estimate over the next seven days. We're looking at two to three inches by the end of this week. Some of that might also be with some mixed precipitation, but likely not until Saturday or Sunday. Let's take a look here at the satellite radar picture. Things have cleared out for this afternoon. Still holding on to some cloud cover, maybe a bit of sunshine here up in the far north woods. Zooming out, we're not seeing much off to the southwest, but that is where those storms are going to be coming from because the storms are going to be fired based off the warmer temperatures. You can see looking at our Midwest view here that in Iowa, parts of Iowa, southern Minnesota, we're seeing 70s right now, and that warm air thankfully is headed our way, but it's going to be bringing with it those storms. That's why the Storm Prediction Center has issued a level one risk for severe weather on Tuesday. Main threats here are going to be lightning and hail development. So if you can, I'd park under some cover tomorrow if you don't want any of that hail falling on your car. We're going to break down here exactly when you could start to see those storms. As early as tomorrow morning, parts of the southern part of the area could start to see some thunderstorm activity. 3 o'clock rolling into areas south of Wausau and south of Stevens Point. As we head into around 6 o'clock tomorrow morning, you can see the storms do continue here, mainly for the southern part of the area. All the way into midday, we're still looking at some thunderstorms storm or shower activity into the afternoon. That's likely our highest chance of severe weather where that line of storms will continue to march up to the north and then that's going to bring a long line of showers and storms here for Tuesday evening. So the highest chance of rain will be Tuesday evening. If you live in the north woods, highest chance in the southern part of the state is going to be in the morning. Wednesday, a couple of small scattered showers and then we'll have some heavier rainfall start to move in by Thursday. Now tonight we're looking at a low of 48 degrees. It will be on the milder side. But we'll actually climb in temperature into early tomorrow morning. We'll get 50s by the morning hours and by the afternoon. We're looking at a high near 66 degrees, though. I won't be surprised if a few cities hit the 70s. Southwest winds tomorrow 10 to 15 miles per hour alongside those showers and storms. Wednesday's high 64. That comes with a 30% chance of rain, 90% chance of rain again on Thursday. High 59, less of a chance of thunderstorms. However, breezy Friday, high 56 with a chance of rain as well. And then maybe some mixed precipitation as we move into Saturday and Sunday.